Hi, my name is Elliot Gu, and I'm the editor of the Energy Strategist. Uh, this morning, uh, as with every Thursday morning, uh, the government released uh, natural gas inventories. Um, as I stated on yesterday's uh, webcast, I actually think natural gas is a much more interesting market right now than crude oil, and I think that was borne out by today's release as well. Uh, what we saw was a, a drawdown of 85 billion cubic feet uh, in inventories. Uh, this is much higher than normal for this time of year. Uh, the five-year average uh, drawdown for this particular week is somewhere around 50 billion cubic feet. Uh, expectations were uh, for something north of 60, but certainly not as high as 85 billion cubic feet. Uh, this is really a continuation of the trend we've been seeing since mid-December. Uh, natural gas inventories are very, very slightly above the five-year average at this point in time. Uh, we typically have another two or three uh, weeks worth of drawdowns uh, going up to about mid, or sorry, early April. Uh, which is typically when we see natural gas inventories start to uh, uh, start to rise again. Uh, so we typically seasonally we'll see two or three more weeks at least uh, of further drawdowns. Uh, I expect by the end of this uh, heating season uh, we will actually see natural gas inventories below the five-year average. Uh, this is the first time that's been the case in over two years. Uh, so it's really a dramatic change. Uh, a couple things going on there. Uh, one, LNG imports, as I've been saying for several, several months now, aren't coming to the United States as long as natural gas prices are much higher in Europe than they are here. Uh, the other factor I think you're starting to see uh, show up in these numbers uh, are decreasing imports from Canada. Uh, Canadian drilling activity really fell off a cliff over the last couple of years. Uh, three reasons, lower natural gas prices, uh, the change in the Canadian uh, trust taxation, uh, which discouraged drilling. Uh, and a further change in uh, Alberta province uh, um, uh, royalty rates, uh, which has really brought down drilling activity. Um, listening to the other day to the Apache conference call, uh, management there said that um, uh, some of the royalty rates in, in, in that province uh, are actually 50% uh, for wells that are, that are very productive, and that's just exorbitant. Uh, so that's not encouraged drilling activity at all. Uh, one issue I think you're going to see in Canada also is that as some of these oil sands projects start to start up uh, towards the end of this year, uh, that's going to draw a lot more gas demand. Uh, that means lower imports into the U.S. Uh, and couple that with falling production. Uh, one of the factors you have to remember in Canada is that according to the National Energy Board up there, uh, in the first year and a half of production, uh, the average Canadian well sees their production decline by 55%. Uh, that's a very, very rapid rate of decline. Uh, so the drop in drilling activity we've seen over the last two years uh, most definitely will show up in production there. Uh, so those are a couple things going on with the natural gas market is why I do think you're going to see continued tightening of this market. Uh, I think it's a very exciting market longer term. Uh, the other thing from a trading perspective that we're seeing right now is we are seeing natural gas prices back off a little bit, mainly because oil prices are coming down a little bit, uh, which in turn, as I mentioned yesterday, has to do with the dollar. Uh, I think that that's the wrong way to look at it. Uh, in the end, I think that natural gas prices are backed by fundamentals, oil prices are not. Um, and that's the key difference. Uh, just as we saw natural gas prices decline for most of the last two years as oil prices were rising, uh, you could certainly see the opposite uh, happen now. You could certainly see natural gas prices steady and rise, uh, and oil prices even back off a little bit more into the 80s. Uh, so I actually think natural gas is a great place to be right now. Uh, you are seeing some of those stocks pull back after a nice run, uh, but I really don't think it's a change in the trend. I really think it's just a short-term pullback and an outstanding buying opportunity. Uh, two areas that I would look at, fast-growing gas producers uh, in the U.S. and Canada, uh, particularly the U.S., uh, companies that are uh, exposed in particular to unconventional reserves like the Barnett Shale of Texas and the Rocky Mountains. Uh, the other area I would look would be services firms uh, or drilling firms, contract drilling firms, uh, that are exposed to the North American uh, natural gas markets. Thank you very much.